Hey everybody, Fiber Spider here with Stray, and we are on the rooftops looking away, looking for a way to get to a certain tower, which I can't even see unless if that is the tower. I don't know. We're, we're just trying to do what we can here. And, uh, oh, we have a lever. What, wait, what, what does the lever do? Before I start pulling stuff, what does it do? Cannot help but be a little bit anxious. Okay, so it goes in there. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm a little well nebulous, but okay, we will we will flick the switch. See what happens. I mean what what's the oh it's an elevator, okay. It's like what's the worst that could happen? I die. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Yo, jump! No, 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 no! God! I was trying to jump, but you can't jump when you have one of those little zerky things on your back. That's kind of an issue. Yeah, what, what was it What was it that I was just saying? What's the worst that could happen to me? Yeah, that's what happens. You get the, the life sucked out of you by parasites. Ugh. All right. Well, we'll try that again. No, no worries. All right, so my guess is what I need to do is use this sort of playing field to my advantage. That would be my guess. Because there's a hop over there, which they would have trouble with, at least for a moment. Um, now, out of curiosity, before I release the hounds, you know, look, looking to see if there's like some sort of like safe zone that I could go to, I mean, I could probably hop on there again, right? No? Ooh. More of them down there. Can't go down there. Okay, so it, it basically, it looks like it's just a, a gauntlet of chaos. Alright, well, you know what? We will try it again. Uh... Now, if I can keep a full sprint going, that would help. <laughs> Just keep going around in circles. Ah! So far, so good. Oh, oh, it's almost, it's, it's here, but I'm not ready yet. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah! Oh! And I'm in! Aha! Oh! Thank goodness for small favors. Oh god, I do not like those things. Actually, this reminds me of a scene from the movie Runaway with Tom Selleck, where there was a construction site elevator and these little creepy spider robots that would cling to the side and spit out acid. They gave me nightmares as a child. The movie itself is awful, horribly dated, very 1980s, but those mechanical spiders gave me the willy willies. Oh, let me out. Please? Oh, I have to climb out? Okie dokie. Now I wonder if we are in the area of where we're supposed to put the transceiver. I don't know. But the music sounds hopeful. Let's try it. Ooh. Did we do it? 
we did it. Just the scale is really quite cool. Oh, we get to go on another little bucket ride. Cool. Look, the view, it's beautiful from here. I remember now, the city. It was meant to be a shelter. Those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the hermetic roof ceiling off the city. Yeah, see, I was commenting that on, like, the first episode. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a ugh. the outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go out to the outside; it was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now, this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get, uh, some help. Oh, that sounds good. Oh! Okay, so, out of the top two blocks out of the five are done. Progress! Progress. Alright, so let's go see if we can go find Momo again. I'm really, really enjoying this. I mean, there are some tricky spots, but... I really am enjoying this. The Slums, Part 2. Oh, Momo! This is his place, is it not? Where is he? Oh! Look! A note! Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent! I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is... Yikes! Aha. Uh -huh. Be careful, it is case sensitive. See you at the bar, Momo. What? That must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. How am I supposed to read that? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's a cute family portrait. <laughs> Okay, there's no way that you're supposed to type all that in. Okay, well, you know what, we'll, we'll press our luck and we will do what we can. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was a H, I think. Why do I need the, the code? Why can't I just walk through the window? Whoops, my bad. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, alright. Sure. <laughs> oh, the, the window was closed. I thought it was open for some reason. Whatever. Momo's at the bar waiting for us. Alright. That was weird. Okay, now the bar... 
is where again? I remember the, the red neon lights. I just don't recall exactly where it is. We'll find it, I'm sure. I want to say it's like in that direction, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, that looks like the bar right down there. Haha, -ha. okay, let's go. Hippity hoppity. Oh, there's Momo! I see him now. Hello, Momo! Hi! Hey, little furball! Hey! I'm Scruffums! Come here! I managed to get a signal! Oh! Pardonnez-moi! Do tell. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this thing working. <laughs> okay. I've almost got it. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Hello! Yes, we can hear you! We're from the slums. We're looking for a way out and... Wait, is that you, Balthazar? Momo? Ch I can't believe it! I'm so happy to hear your voice, ba voice Balthazar. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes. Ch we are safe. Ch we found a way up. Ch <laughs> Sorry. Hello? Do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Ch. Very dangerous. Ch. Zerks. Everywhere. Oh, God, no. Sewers? How? Hello? Darn it. We lost the signal. I can't believe it. Balthazar is alive. He and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers? The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but... If Balthazar made it, there must be a way. I like your rainbow face. You'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you. Your business is none of my business. Cute hat. Going for a row in a <laughs> in a lake or something? Ugh, oh, Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. Ooh, a laser beam or something? A few years ago, he went off to test the device. Never came back. Seamus is never been the same since. Don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be, that must be where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. Alright, well, we'll do. Probably gonna be some puzzle to get in there, I imagine. Oh, yeah, I did that with the paint. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, I'm leaving little footprints. Ooh, translate. What's that say? 
Announcement! I am looking for any sheet music to play the guitar and add some ambiance. If you find any, bring them back to me. I live near the elevator. Marusk. Okay, well I found some. I didn't find all of it, though. Come on, Seamus, open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. Well, that was to be expected. This situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me. But you... I think I have an idea. Yeah, maybe I can get in. Aha! Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. Okie doke. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Find the secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try to re-establish communication with the others. Okay. Seamus! What are you doing in here? I told you. Getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. Well, I got something to show you. Doc's notebook. What's this? Wait, is this my papa's? Oh wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat? But where? I have nothing to show him. Okay... Maybe I can find out. Ooh! Okay. So, I need a, a code. I wouldn't know what to punch in. Let's keep looking around. No. I'm just I'm just gonna destroy everything in here. Aha. Translate. Time will tell. Oh okay, I I can figure that out. Where's the clock? Where's the clock? Okay. Alright, so let's see, it's two five one two. Easy enough, two five one two. Two, five, one, two. No? Really? Two, five. Oh, maybe that's a one, two, five, one, one. Let's try that. Two, five, one, one. Haha! -ha! I did it! You can thank me later. The secret lab. I've never seen this room. I can't believe you managed to hide it from me all this time. These blueprints, they must be for a Zerk weapon. Papa always was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real-life test. He went outside the slums, and he never came back. Robots News Headlines. Zerk are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. Ugh. Well, let's see. something in that box. Maybe not. Ooh. Let's try translating that. Defluxer blueprint. Concept. Light-based. Something. Low priority. High priority. 
Objective 20 Zerk destroyed per second. Okay. Find anything interesting in here? Uh, just sheet music. Anything over here? What about the box, though? Was that like a red herring? What was the point? Hmm. Ooh. Observations. Cute sounds, but never friendly. Old bacteria of human time eats all kinds of materials. Total vision in the dark. React to the intense light. I guess I haven't actually found anything. Just music notes again. I, I haven't found anything tangible, just stuff on the wall. Oh, wait a minute. Aha! Broken tracker? Yes, I have. Here you go. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that. Tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. I can't believe my, pa my papa... I can't speak today. I apologize. I can't believe my papa might still be alive. I've missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slums should be able to help. Come with me. I'll open the door for you. Thank you. Now, we, we definitely need a weapon. Because those little bleh, things are just too much for me. Thank you. Okay, so... Gotcha. Alright, so I guess we just talk to everybody. Hi. Hello? Ah! You don't want to talk to me? Rude. Rest in peace, humans. Humans were the first residents around here. It seems that they're all dead now. What do you think it feels like being dead? Oh, uh, morbid. I know it's silly coming from me, but are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like for an AI. Oh, God. I'm sorry, I didn't want to break the mood. Let's move on. Yeah, thanks, Killjoy. Alright, so let us look around, see what we can find. Oh, hello, vending machine. Ooh! Energy drink! Yes, we needed that. Can I get another one? No. Because, yeah, we needed that for one of our quest lines. Getting an energy drink for somebody... We're talking, like, second... First, second episode. Oh, oh. Hi. What's this? Scritchy, scratchy? Scratchy? 
It's okay, you can leave. The Guardian said it was not the Zergs. Okay... Don't know what that's about. Hmm. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna wander about a bit and see if we can find somebody that might be able to help us. Oh, hi! So if today is yesterday's tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday today, right? Time is weird. We don't age like the Soft One ancestors. We are trapped here forever. Yeah. Okay, do you know anything about this? You can fix your tracker at that address. That kid, Elliot, who lives there is a real tech whiz. Oh, what address? What address? At that address. What address? Yeah, what address? Okay, that doesn't help. Hmm. Looking for someone capable of monitoring the southern entrance to the safe zone, the remuneration is two pints of Siyuba oil per day. Please contact the Guardian. Okay... I don't know, we're, we're having... I wouldn't say difficulties, but I, I'm not sure what exactly it is that I'm doing. But, okay, so this is the bar, yes? Yes, this is the bar. Hi. Grandma made me the scarf. Isn't it wonderful? She knits so well. Your tracker's in bad shape. Bartender might help you. Uh, find someone who can help fix it. Oh, okay. Yeah, because when it said, um address. I did not see the address. Alright. Hi, Jacob. You're new around here. What can I do for you? Well... What a beautiful object. And rare, too. I know a guy who fixes stuff like this. He's very talented. Just a little, well, you'll see. His name's Elliot. His office is just left of here near Grandma's shop. There are signs all over his door. Perfect! Okay, thank you. Okay, so just left of here. Now, does he mean left looking outside or looking inside? Translate. Barterman, Super Spirit Laundry, Grandma Clothing, and Elliot Programming. Okay, Elliot programming... I'm assuming is the, the bottom arrow because he said it last, so... Yeah, Elliot programming is the last thing that he read, read so then I'm thinking it's this way. Hi. Are you Elliot? Nope, you're Grandma. Okay, I do love knitting. So far, I've knitted 478 miles of scarves. Something to do. If you bring me some electric cable, I can make you a poncho. You inspire me, but... It's not easy to find the right materials around here. I'm sure it isn't. Okay.
Grandma clothing. Are you Elliot? Hello? Sorry. Hello? Okay, you don't want to have anything to do with me. Fine. I'm gonna keep going this way. Uh, I think this is where we were before. I very much think so. Okay, I think we just went in a circle. More or less. Oh, you're Seamus. Right, okay... Sorry, getting a bit lost here. Okay, that's Rosie. A little confused. Where in the hey hey? Let's talk to you fine people. Hi. Grandma made me these clothes. Pretty stylish, you know? You want something? <laughs> Trying to get that repaired? Go see Elliot. Just scratch at the door on your right. Oh, you have to... Okay. Door on your right, somebody will let you in. Aha! <laughs> Elliot programming. Finally, we found it! Okay. <laughs> Knock on the door and wait for us to open. Great! Okay. Scritchy, scritchy. Hi. How you doing? Can I come in? Thank you. Yes, hello. There we go. You're here for Elliot? He's just over there. Oh, that's Nestor. Sorry. My bad. Ooh, sheet music. Oh, we're getting there. Uh... Okay, where is Elliot? Down here? Up here? Ah! Hi. Yes, can I help you? Yes, you can. Oh, wow! That's a great tracker! I recognize this model as a Tohima BR-2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? I know how to repair it, but when I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something, but... I definitely don't feel right. Oh... Sorry? I can't work when I'm shivering like this. I think I need a blanket to be able to fix your tracker. Gotcha, so... I need, what, cables so that I can... get something from Grandma? Is that it? Looks like Elliot isn't ready to work. Poor guy. We need to find him something warm. Maybe someone can make one around here. Yeah. Well, if you have cable lying around here, that would help. See, why don't you just take this rug? Seriously, take this rug and just drape it over your shoulders if you're that cold, you know? I'll help you out. Scritchy, scritchy, scritchy. Oh, memory. It's a very pretty tree. This tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable that human ingenuity found a way to create pl plants that thrive without sunlight. That is true. There is no sunlight down here. Organic life requires 
trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. It's what the humans would have wanted. Oh, we got quite a few memories. Now, oh, is there something through here? Or is it just scritchy scritchy? Nope, I think it's just scritchy scritchy. So, in order to get the tracker fixed... Gonna need some cable. And give it to Grandma, but I don't know where we're gonna find cable, though. That is a good question. One that I do not know the answer to. We might have to do some exploring. Just knock all your stuff off! I'm a rabid kitty! Ooh, what's this? Ooh, maybe another window? Aha! It's very bright out. Yep. Oh, and we are right outside of the bar. Okay. So I can go over that way. Where to find cable, though? You know what? We didn't go upstairs in the bar. Can I go up this way? Ooh, memory. Do they really consume this? Their original design didn't have a digestive system. Maybe they somehow evolved by mimicking humans. Do you think I should try some of it? I don't want to be disrespectful of their ways. I'm not even sure what that is exactly, but okay. Ooh, pool! Haha! -ha. <laughs> I wonder if there is a uh, a trophy if you get all of the balls in the pockets. I don't know. Maybe. Damn it. One more? Nope. No trophy. That's okay. Ooh. Is that music? I think that's music. Music! Music! Yes! Did I get all of it? I don't know. Ah, uh, again. I can never remember which button it is. To check out my inventory. Hello. This is the newspaper from the people living above on level 2. It's a few years old, but it's something to read. Now, what I'm curious is, is, uh, yeah, where, where am I gonna find cable, though? Because apparently that, that is what we need. Whoa! In order to finish up our quest with Elliot. Anything 
through here. Wait a minute before we go. I think there was a, another triangle. Yeah, what is that? Nope. It's just a scritchy scritch. Hi. Okay, so I've spoken with you guys before. <laughs> All the weird stuff always happened to you, mate. So I've got one energy drink. Now, I don't recall who needed it, but I think he was near the door. You know, near that main gate. Nope. I wonder if Grandma knows where I could find some supplies. Electric cable... Yeah, I'm sure it's not easy to find the right materials around here. Hmm... Let's see, as far as the music sheets, let's see, I found one... One, two, three, four, five, six, just six. So I, wait, I need, what, two more? Okay, now that dude, he never wants to talk to me. He's a bit rude. these blokes here. Just going in circles. Very easy to do in this game. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What, what was that? What was that? I thought I saw something. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just a jumping point. Hi. Look at all the great stuff that falls into our trash. So many treasures. Do you have any wire? You should visit the barter man. There's something for everyone over there. Ah. I think we have had speaks with him before. Oh, you are the guard. Yes, I recall you. Now, I think... Well, you know what? Let's try, let's try this again. We tried this when we first came here. Score! <laughs> boom chaka, boom chaka laka, is the trophy earned? Okay, inspect. Uh, let's see. <gasps> Electric cable. Ah. Hello again. What do you want now? This is a set of electric cable, the best of the market. Yes. Super spirit detergent. That's the best I can do. Gotcha. All right. So detergent, I imagine I could find from the laundry, and I know where that is, relatively speaking. Ooh, sheet music, I need that. I do have that, actually. Ooh! Awesome! Okay, so I need detergent. That was what I needed before. All right, now. If we scurry and scoot. Laundry. Okay, so laundry is actually the second one. So it's what, that way? Or is it this, right here? No? Huh. 
Hi. That guy is cleaning the paint again. Sure is making use of all that detergent. Ah! Detergent. Aha. Hi. Sorry. I'm cleaning the porch of my shop. Again! Stop playing over my... Playing over my shop, you clumsy rascal. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll go in. If you don't mind. Just looking for some detergent. Aha! Mine! Yes. I'm a pilfering kitty. I'm a cat burglar. <laughs> Sorry. That was... That was pretty bad. Well, pardon me. See, now, all I have to do is give the detergent, and then I can get the wire, right? Okay. Here you go. Cool. Alrighty, so now all I need to do is get to to Granny. And she is Right over here. Haha. -ha. Granny! Yes, I do. I came through for you. It's not alpaca, but it'll do. Thank you, my dear. I'll get to work right away. Oh, knitting granny. Poncho gained new item. Yes! Love it. I mean, it's not Noro, but it is lovely. There you go, little one. It'll suit you well. Cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so now... Let me see... Scritchy, scritchy! Let me in. Pardon me, coming through. Woo! I got something for ya. Yeah, well, I got something for ya. Here you go. Oh, where did you find this? It's amazing! Let me try it on. Look! No tremors! I'm able to work again. Ooh, that's nice. So glad I could help. Thanks! Now I can definitely fix your tracker. Let me take a look. Just gotta give it an update and... One more thing. Voila! Ooh! A fixed tracker. There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you are looking for. Ha ha! Awesome. Alright, progress. We helped our, our robot friend. He's got a lovely poncho. He's very fashionable. He's sort of that uh, shabby, chic, boho thing going on. Kind of cool. Alright, and we had dealings with Granny, and we have more sheet music. I think we almost have all of it. I think I just need one more sheet. But yeah, definite progress has been made. It's a lovely feeling. But you know what? I think we're going to have to wrap it up for today. So listen, guys, as always, thank you for watching. Hope you're enjoying. You have a good day. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.